The Amalgamated Transit Union is a labor organization in the United States and Canada that represents employees in the public transit industry. Established in 1892 as the Amalgamated Association of Street Railway Employees of America, the union was centered primarily in the eastern United States. Today, ATU has over 200,000 members throughout the United States and Canada. Topic: History The union was founded in 1892 as the Amalgamated Association of Street Railway Employees of America. The union has its origins in a meeting of the American Federation of Labor in 1891 at which President Samuel Gompers was asked to invite the local street railway associations to form an international union. Gompers sent a letter to the local street railway unions in April 1892, and based on the positive response arranged for a convention of street railway workers. The convention began on 12 September 1892 in Indianapolis, Indiana, attended by 50 delegates from 22 locals. Many of the smaller unions were affiliated with the AFL, while four larger locals were affiliated with the Knights of Labor and two were independent. The first president was William J. Law from the AFL affiliated local in Detroit. Detroit was chosen as the headquarters, using the same facilities as the Detroit local. Because the number of members affiliated with the Knights of Labor was greater than the numbers affiliated with the AFL, according to the claims of the delegates, the new international remained unaffiliated despite pleas by Gompers. The objectives included education, settlement of disputes with management, and securing good pay and working conditions. The international was given considerable authority over the locals. The second convention was held in Cleveland in October 1893, with just 15 divisions represented by about 20 delegates. At this meeting, William D. Mann was named president, and he still held this position in 1937. By then, the union had been renamed the Amalgamated Association of Street, Electric Railway, and Motor Coach Employees of America. The union struggled in the early years as the transit companies followed the practice of firing union activists. In the 1897 meeting in Dayton, Ohio, there were 20 delegates. The treasury of the union now had $4,008. An early achievement was to have laws passed in a dozen states by 1899 that mandated enclosed vestibules for the motormen. Wages were close to $2 a day where the union was established, and in Detroit and Worcester the nine hour day had been achieved, although in most cities 10 or 11 hour days were common. At the start of the 20th century, the Amalgamated Association launched a militant organizing program. Although the union was always willing to arbitrate in disputes, there were many strikes against the streetcar companies. Often these turned violent, as in St. Louis in 1900 or Denver in 1920. The public and small businesses sympathized with the strikers, and passengers and other unions often became involved in the street actions. When buses began to replace streetcars, the association began to be challenged by the international brotherhood of teamsters, chauffeurs, stablemen and helpers. It was agreed that the Amalgamated Association would have jurisdiction over buses operated by street railway companies, while the Teamsters would have jurisdiction over independent bus lines and over road transportation of goods. <laughs> <laughs> Membership The ATU is the largest labor organization representing transit workers in the United States and Canada, with over 190,000 members in over 240 local unions spread across 46 states and nine provinces. The main membership consists primarily of transit operators, though the union also includes more than 800 members working in over 80 craft occupations. ATU represented job classifications include bus, van, subway, and light rail operators, clerks, baggage handlers, and maintenance employees in urban transit, over the road and school bus industries, as well as emergency medical service personnel, ambulance operators, clerical personnel, and municipal workers. The ATU can be found in most major cities of the United States and Canada. Topic. Structure The union is guided by a triennial convention at which delegates chosen by locals meet to debate and direct the future of the union. The international offices consist of the international president, the international executive vice president, the international secretary treasurer, and 18 international vice presidents. The international vice presidents serve on the union's general executive board. 
Topic: <laughs> International Offices and General Executive Board. The Office of International President is currently held by Lawrence J. Hanley, who was first elected to the position in September 2010. The International Secretary Treasurer is Oscar Owens, a position he has held since January 2001. In August 2013, Javier M. Perez Jr. was unanimously elected to the position of International Executive Vice President. The Union's General Executive Board consists of 18 international vice presidents, elected positions voted on by the Union's delegates at each triennial convention. Additionally, the Union utilizes four international representatives, appointed by the International President. Topic. Local unions As currently structured, the Amalgamated Transit Union consists of over 220 local unions throughout North America. ATU Local 587 is the largest ATU local on the west coast of the United States. Local 587 represents employees of King County Metro and numerous other properties. ATU Locals 192 and 1555 are located in the California Bay Area, representing tens of thousands of employees of AC Transit and Bay Area Rapid Transit. ATU Local 689, based in Forestville, Maryland, represents over 10,000 members of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. ATU Local 589, chartered in Boston, Massachusetts, is responsible for representing the employees of the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority. The largest ATU local in the southern United States is Local 732, from Atlanta, Georgia, representing employees of the Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority, among other properties. ATU Canada. Established in 1982, the Amalgamated Transit Union Canada, formerly the ATU Canadian Council, represents workers in various Canadian transit systems and other industries. It is the highest authority and voice in Canada for the ATU on all issues of Canadian interest, including legislation, political, educational, health and safety, cultural and social welfare matters. Canada is home to over 30 ATU locals, located in nine different provinces and territories. The largest ATU Canada local is Local 113, located in Toronto, Ontario, representing over 10,000 members of the Toronto Transit Commission. Other large Canadian locals can be found in Ottawa, Ontario, Local 279, Mississauga, Ontario, Local 1572, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Local 508, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Local 1505, and Calgary, Alberta, Local 583. Topic. Political and legislative activities In addition to membership servicing, the ATU is actively engaged in several progressive political causes. Beyond promoting increased transit funding energy independence and the maintenance of a strong, publicly funded transit system, the ATU advocates for a number of social justice topics. In 2008, the ATU endorsed Hillary Clinton in her unsuccessful bid for the Democratic presidential nomination. After she conceded defeat, the ATU endorsed Barack Obama in his bid to become president. In November 2010, the ATU, the Transportation Equity Network, 10, the Transport Workers Union, TWU, other labor unions, and transit advocates convened a boot camp in Chicago, Illinois. Activists from varying backgrounds discussed the issues facing both union members and transit riders, and identified opportunities to work together in the future to address the nation's transit crisis. The ATU and Good Jobs First convened a second boot camp for transit advocates in Silver Spring, Maryland, in March 2011. In 2011, the ATU became one of a handful of North American labor unions to publicly oppose construction of the Keystone XL Tar Sands Pipeline. The ATU was named the most valuable national union in the Nation magazine's progressive honor roll of 2012 for its support of the Occupy movement, the National Day of Action for Public Transportation, and other social justice issues. Beginning in 2013, the ATU became a vocal supporter of the Robin Hood tax campaign. Topic <laughs> timeline. Topic. In popular culture 
The Attu and President Emeritus Warren George are mentioned in the song, Workin' for the MTA, on Justin Towns Earl's 2010 album, Harlem River Blues. The lyrics read, Yeah, them hard times are going around, hard times are going around, hard times are going around, bringin' hard luck on New York town. But I'm bankin' on the Attu, bankin' on the Attu, I'm bankin' on the Attu, brother George is gonna see me through. 